Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. What on earth is going on, you might think? What is the History Hunter doing right now? Well, today you're going to join me in something pretty special. Um, we did this discovery, me and my son, Eagle Eyes. We did a discovery in a German World War II bunker. So why don't you join me and let's have a little quick look at that. Wow, this took us totally off guard, and I have to say, that is amazing. It's like a room inside here. Did they stay here, sleep here? Okay, what we're about to show you now is something that I really, really can't explain. Eagle Eyes, he's just looked behind this wall, and... I really, really don't believe my eyes. We can see some cloth material down there and a ton of wine bottles with the correct time frame um, type of bottles. But that's not all. The most incredible thing is that some of them are actually filled with wine. So, that's what it's all about. These three bottles, they are the ones that we brought back. And today I'm going to do something that I've never ever done before in my life. So be patient and don't judge me. We're going to do some tasting of wines from the Second World War found in a German World War II bunker. So before we start this, I just want to share something with you. How do we know that the bottles that we found are genuine German World War II stuff? Well, it has something to do about a little bit of markings and identification details that we can find. So let me just show you quickly here. Let's say we find this beer bottle here. You can identify it by the line, the casting line, very rough casting line. Goes all the way through. And this one can actually be identified by the date, 1941. See that? And uh, if you study other German beer bottles, like this one, it's actually a brown one. It will have a marking of 1944. And if you find a smaller wine bottle like this, well, on the end there, it says 0.33 and GH. And when it comes to the wine bottles, they have kind of the same type of markings that we can look for. You have the casting lines, like this one has a very, very rough casting line. That is not a modern type of bottle, you see that? And if you turn that around, you see it says 1 liter GBB. And then when you do this one, it's kind of a bit sleeker and higher. Turn that around 0 0.7 liter, and then you can go to this one here, 0 0.7 liter DR. So they're definitely German stuff from the Second World War and we found them in many, many variations and positions. So what we're gonna do today, I've chosen this bottle here. The other ones doesn't have the same markings, but it's basically kind of the same thing. This bottle is kind of uh, the same green color. You can see the parting line coming up let me see, it's got a very coarse parting line there, see that? You have the cork there. And then when you turn it around, it's gonna be 0 0.7 liter. And this one is even marked in 1944. And we actually found five of these in the same area. This is the only one which was in the bunker, which was full. The other one was actually buried outside. So they probably had a good time doing that. So what is my target now? Well, my target is, as I kind of understood it, first we're gonna open it with this thingy dingy here, which I have to say I've actually never used something like that, but I bought it for this occasion. When we have opened it, we're gonna quickly get the uh, wine into the winometer, uh, which has this scale See if I can get that to you there. See that, and we'll give off the uh, give off the um, alcohol percentage. We're gonna quickly pour it 
into the glass. We're going to check the color. And ugh, basically, I'm going to see if I will dare to taste that. I, I, I don't know how to explain what I'm going to taste, but I've tried to read up as good as I can. And because as a set of the COVID, there's no one to help me. So I have to do it myself. All right, I got two cameras rolling, one GoPro and this thing here. This one goes in and out of focus. I can't help that. So here is my plan. Uh, I'm going to open it uh, by this thing here. And when I open it, I'm going to take the cork, sniff it, <laughs> whatever. And I'm going to pour some of the wine over to there. And then I'm going to uh, fill this up. And then when there's a couple of drops coming out here, I'm supposed to turn it around. And then we're going to read off the alcohol percentage because I, I read that you have to do it pretty quickly uh, after you open it. So, And then I'm going to see if I can pour some wine there. I'll just improvise. I don't know what I'm doing, so that's okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this thing pretty much right in the middle there. Is that right? Okay, I'll, I'll just do this first. I have to say... I have actually never, never opened a bottle in my whole life like this. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do my very, very best. Got two cameras to record this, so hopefully it will be fine. That's not too difficult. I said try and get it very, very deep over or down there so that it will really get the cork. And then I'm going to kind of do this. So I'm going to change the camera angle of the GoPro. Then I'm going to go, okay, that's not going to work. Oh, that's pretty heavy. I'm not sure how heavy this should be, <laughs> but all right. Oh, this move movement, it's coming, it's coming. Look at that. It's actually coming. This is exciting. I'm not sure whether it should be a poop or something like that. Or what? Come on, come on, come on. It's coming. Ah, uh, it's almost up. It's almost up. See that? It's almost up. And you can see this this kind of black line here. You see that? I'm not sure whether that has got something to do about aging or something all right let's do it all the way up i'm so excited and if they were gonna say boop come on am i doing it wrong oh it didn't come all the way what am i doing wrong here should i just pull or what come on come on come on oh, i'm probably doing it wrong Oh no, it's stuck in there. Are you kidding me? <gasps> I'm never gonna get that up. I'll just as well put it in there. Uh, maybe I should clean. Okay. Oh, it really smells like alcohol, to be honest. Oh, it really smells like alcohol. All right, I'm gonna get it in the, is it just to pour it or what is? Okay, enough of that, let's pour it. Oh, that's very strong odor. But I think maybe I should, give me a second. I'll, I'll have to, um, no, we'll just pour it. I'm not sure what I'm doing here anyway, so that's okay. Okay, easy. Can you see that? It's coming out, it's coming out. Ooh, that color didn't look too well. Well, we got enough, we got enough. What is that? Can anyone tell me? Anyone knows what it is? Oh, that is... F I know when alcohol smells like... S not shit, but very strong. Uh, what am I, I'm going to do this like that. So now I'm going to... Take some of that in there. Oops, there we go. And then this thing will take some time, it says, to get some drops. 
out from the bottom here. Probably got something to do. Oh, there's something going on there. It comes out here. See that? It comes out here. So now I'm supposed to turn it around. Let's do that. Like that. And then I'm supposed to. What am I doing here? Let's see. It's supposed to be coming down again or something to read out a line or whatever. Is that going to take some time or help me out there, people? What's going on here? Is it going to come down? I just have to check it a little bit myself to see what I'm doing. Huh? Is that supposed to show me something now? Okay. Am I supposed to leave it? I don't know. I don't have Google right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I thought you would see a line here or something. Can you see anything that I don't see? Right here. Let me see. Where are you? I cannot see anything. There is no line. Oh. It smells so incredible strong. <coughs> oh my goodness, there's a lot of alcohol in that, that is for sure. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think I'll leave this for a few minutes and uh, I'll get that glass cleaned up and I'll, I'll just get back to you and see if this thing gives up some kind of reading. All right, I've done this like four times and every time it's very difficult to see actually, but it actually says uh, it comes to around 15 on the on the scale there. So it comes down, down and it kind of stops. I'm thinking that is probably the percentage of alcohol then and it really, really smells extremely strong to be honest. I have to move that GoPro camera up again. Um, this is basically what it looks like. Can you see that? Starting to clear up pretty nice. And uh, I, I, I have to be very honest. I, I'm not trained in any of this. I haven't got a clue about what to kind of... To me, it smells very much like uh, strong something. Uh, by the color, is it red? Ah, I don't know. It looks brownish to me and uh, if anything I would say it smells like uh, some wooden stuff I I, I I don't know it it doesn't smell like fruity or, or something like that it smells I, I'm I, I'm not sure actually it smells like uh, a very mild type of whiskey, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, it does. But okay, let's set that aside. Now for the incredible little detail of pouring it. So I'm going to see if I can get a good shot of that. Sorry, I don't have a wine glass. Let me see, where am I there? Are you going to see this? All right, let's pour it and check out what it looks like when it comes out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my goodness, am I going to taste that? Are you crazy? Okay. There you go. I'm going to show it to both cameras. Look at that. It w I would say it's reddish, yeah? Yeah, it really looks like red. Now I can see it. It's a difficult, diff different, you see that? I'm not sure why, but this looks very red to me. And I... Ugh. I, I really, really don't know if it's a smart thing to taste it, um, <laughs> to be honest. Oh my goodness, am I going to do that? Um, give me a few seconds, I have to think about this because I really don't know what's in there. Um, but hey, whenever am I going to have the opportunity to taste wine from the Second World, World War? 
Ah, oh, come on, come on, you can do it, History Hunter. Well, let me, let me do this first. Some kind of bubble there. Ugh. Sorry, wait, give me a second. Oh, I am very sorry for that. Oh my goodness, what the heck is in there? Um, I really, really want to taste it. I'm gonna chicken out, I'm gonna chicken out. I cannot risk to get sick. I'm a single dad. I need to be responsible. I cannot drink in the, in the weekdays. <laughs> That's my excuse. <sighs> I don't know what to say. Um, it really doesn't taste like anything that I've tasted. Ah, oh, yikes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. No, I'm not gonna drink that. Okay, what's next? Let's see if we can sum up this thing. I'm, I'm going bananas here. Yeah, of course the GoPro battery had to shut down on me here, but uh, I, I really tried my best here to man up and uh, taste that stuff. But I, I have to be very honest, this is like, too much for me I, I don't I'm on I'm on thin ice here and I don't want to risk anything and um, well you can judge me for that if you want to but uh, that glass there it it looks wonderful and it smells actually just as normal regular uh, alcohol um, to me it really I'm not sure but I'm kind of Earlier in my younger days, I really enjoyed having a glass of whiskey with uh, ice. Um, not anymore, but this looks or smells to me much more like whiskey than it does that. But I could be totally wrong. Uh, but the color here, let me show you that. See that? It's not, it's not reddish. Well, it is reddish. Come on. All right. I don't know what to say. Um... At least I saw it was 15% alcohol, and that would have been a very, very strong wine, I think. And um, it is getting very, very clear, that's for sure. Uh, let me see if I can get you down there. I have to turn off the GoPro first. Here we go. Let's see that. It looks really clear. And if I bring out this thing here, you can see they basically have the same color. I'm not sure whether it's the glass that makes it kind of darker and more reddish, but you can see here is I don't I don't know. I, I really, really couldn't tell you. I, I'm doing my very best here to try and express and convey what I kind of uh, smell or feel. I'm gonna oh. smell this thing here no. I would say that this could be moonshine, <laughs> to be honest. It really, I'm not sure, is it wine? Is it some kind of other stuff? I really couldn't tell. Why aren't there any labels? That's a totally different thing. Because if the labels were there, well, then we could have seen what it was. But I cannot see any labels on any of the bottles. And normally we don't find it. It's very rare to find it. So could I have used them over again? Could I have kind of said, okay, let's create something here. And did we find their moonshine storage? I'm not sure. <laughs> you be the judge of that. You saw how we found it. And uh, now I tried my best to share it with you. So uh, who knows what the actual deal was with the bottles in that bunker. All right, I told you today would be a totally different day. Um, did we taste German World War II wine? We could have. I'm more leaning towards we found their moonshine stockpile. And for me, that is even more cool. You see those guys there? These were Germans doing their duty out there. And they really, really needed to celebrate and party 
just as everybody else did during those years. So for me, um, what can I say? It's been a blast. That is absolutely fantastic. This is something that is uh, coming true to, to life because of the uh, fantastic team members I have around me. I want to say a massive thank you to all my Patreon team members and the PayPal supporters. You are the reason why we can go out and research, find stuff, special things like this, and then end up sharing material that <laughs> probably not too many show you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being out there for us. To the rest of you, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, you know, comment, uh, share, uh, watch the videos in full length. That's the very, very best you can do to help us out. And I will do my very best together with Eagle Eyes and Bunker Buster Girl to show you even more cool material in the near future. So with this little episode here, I will have to say goodbye, stay safe, keep smiling, and we will definitely see you out there in the next one.